What's up, guys? Welcome to another The Horizon video. I was about to say I'll be done for some reason, but um, either way, you know, today what we're going to be going over is uh, the best Imperial Thread slash Golden Jewelry farm there is in the game. Like how you obtain gold jewelry and easy ways to uh, obtain Imperial Thread. Obviously, the, the uh, pretty much the only place that I know of to get uh, gold jewelry from is this city. Um, and what you've got to do is kill all of these kinds of mobs. Let me find them real quick. These paladins, these clerics, um, paladins, clerics, priests, light weathers, knights. All of these mobs drop uh, gold jewelry and imperial thread. Obviously, there's a drop rate and whatnot. So obviously, if you just uh, basically come in into the town here kill the the few that are there you'll come up here there's always usually like two clerics or two knights here there's a priest generally roaming around here um there's a paladin that goes up and down here as well there's there's numerous of these mobs that you can go around the town just farming for gold jewelry and imperial thread obviously right now this is my inventory i do already have three gold chains because obviously uh pulling aggro by accident and five imperial thread for now but obviously i'm gonna cut back once we've farmed for about five to ten minutes went around the town probably once and killed as many of them as we can just so you guys can see uh the amount of gold jewelry and imperial thread we can get and how fast we can get it also one thing i did forget to mention when you do come to this uh cathedral part right once you go past this barrier here you start taking heavy holy radiation uh which as you can see that's that's a big chunk of damage every single tick well, there's two things you can do. Um, make holy resistant potions in within your alchemy table or holy resistance flasks. Holy resistance potions will bring it down to uh, around four to six damage per tick instead of 12. And then the holy flask will bring it down to like, you won't take any damage whatsoever. There is also another thing that's pretty uh, decent is if you go into bear form and head up here, you'll only take seven damage so you take a lot less damage so you are gonna have to be fast right so you come up here click control to get out of this beat the shit out of these guys bing bang bong you know and obviously once you've like defeated these two one thing i'd recommend is wait for the tick to happen then pop it and you'll able to start healing through the damage right this is very helpful this is what i uh, consistently do to end up going through this area generally i wait until i'm full you may have to feed on one or two mobs while in here as you can see gold jewelry imperial thread gold jewelry again we'll try and beat these guys and then we'll be back afterwards one thing i'd also recommend is obviously you come into the church there's a container here i literally got two gold jewelry out of this i got one uh one gold jewelry out of this uh, I don't think there's anything near the back here, so you don't really need to kill Azeriel if you don't want to. So just from that area alone, I got like 12. 12 gold jewelry. You know? And like 3 Imperial Thread, just from being in that little area there. Alright then, so as you guys can see, that I currently have, from going around that whole rotation, about 5 to 10 minutes of, of killing the, the mobs in the, in the rotation, um, I got 25, let's just say 22 gold jewelry because I already had a bunch before then. And I think I had five Imperial Thread when I started. So we got 15 Imperial Thread and to add on top of that, 92 schematics. That's actually fucking insane. We got some fishing spots, so we got some sage fish and whatnot. But to have this much of these materials that quickly, that frequently. And look, I've come back and these mobs have respawned. So that means all of the ones were up inside of this monastery. Uh, up inside this cathedral have respawned as well um so uh there's no point going around here and down here too often because they're more um archers and stuff like that where you won't really get imperial thread or gold jewelry and i've found out that um if you kill everything in here come down here a bit rotate around here come up here come through here and go down here generally all around these areas here I've generally found to be the best locations for paladins, clerics, light weavers, priests, um, knights to be able to get all the gold jewelry and all the imperial thread you could ever ask for. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. If you enjoyed yourself, hit that subscribe button and that like button. Leave a comment down below with what you'd like to see in the future. If there's anything that you, any questions you want to ask, ask down below as well. I'm more than happy to answer anything. 
appreciate every single one of you guys have a beautiful day